Only on Fox tonight, George Jones' widow Nancy talks about the final moments she spent with her husband, how she's holding up tonight, and the side of George Jones that only she could see. Fox 17 Entertainment reporter Stacy McLeod sat down one on one with Nancy Jones this afternoon. And Stacy, I imagine this had to be a very emotional conversation. Yeah, of course it was. Nancy's such a sweet lady, and in just about any interview that George has ever done, he credited Nancy for saving his life. I had the honor of chatting with Nancy about George the husband, not George the legend, and how they spent their final days. He stopped loving her today. I do good during the day. I, don't, I think he's riding around on the farm or he's riding around going to get his car washed. Uh, I don't do very good at night. It's so sad. It's so lonesome. We've been together so long. It's hard. While the world is mourning the loss of George Jones, the country legend, his wife Nancy is mourning her loving husband of 30 years. But the thing that he left with me is always have good in your heart and trust in the good Lord. Nancy recalls some of their last moments together, doing what he loved most. It was like, let's go riding, and we just ride around. We ride around all day long, get back home at 1, he reads the paper to 2, we ride around three, we eat at four, and then it's movie time. His favorite movie is going to be Matlock. So we have every Matlock that's ever. I'll never be able to watch Matlock. Nancy says the final few days before George got sick were a gift. I think God just waved a magic wand and said, okay, you're going to have a good week. So for five days, he was fine. Then suddenly on April 18th, Joan's health changed. He started screaming and hollering and so much pain. So we called, I called the ambulance and got him to, to the hospital and they couldn't find what was wrong. So they started treating him with antibiotics and treating him and treating him and treating him. Then he got better. Sunday he was laughing. Just as quickly as he felt better, he got sick again. And on Monday, April 22nd, doctors gave them the bad news. George said, I need to ask you something. The doctor said, what? And he said, Am I dying? And then the doctor had told him yes, and he cried. George wanted to be taken off everything except pain medication. He wanted to be alert for two very important conversations. He wanted to see a preacher. We brought our preacher up. He wanted me by myself. We had a good 30 minutes, and he told me everything to do. Nancy says she's carrying out every single wish, but it's not easy. We were so close. She's relying on his fans. I think the fans are going to be what's going to help me get through this because he has such a fan base. And finds peace picturing the possum where he is today. I think Johnny Cash and Waylon met him at the gate. And Johnny Cash probably said, hey, little pal, what took you so long? Thought you'd come here before I did. I think they're up there singing and I think he's laughing at me every time I cry. He stopped loving her today. Coming up at 10, we have more of that interview with Nancy Jones, the very special young man that George personally asked to take care of her when he was gone. What a touching, touching story. Fox 17 will be there as family, friends, and the music industry pay tribute to George Jones. We'll carry that memorial live Thursday morning at 10 a.m. with complete coverage on Fox 17 News at 9 and 10. Then on Friday, Fox 17 will have a 30-minute tribute to the country legend.